Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys one of the most important things you may ever learn in your life. That sounds a bit dramatic, but it's just the truth. This is a skill that is extremely important these days, and that is how you can learn to code. Now essentially what code means is you can build something from nothing. Essentially all you have to do is have a computer and a code editor in front of you, and you can go ahead and build something amazing. All of your favorite iPhone apps, websites, everything, they're all built from code and it really is a skill that is invaluable to life these days. Before we jump into this video, I just wanna say that this video is sponsored and brought to you by Hacksaw. They are the company that I'm going to be displaying in this video and they are an absolutely amazing place to learn how to code. To put this into perspective, they have over 7,000 students learning how to code right now, and on top of that, it's only $24.99 a month. To put that into perspective, Netflix is $10.99 a month or somewhere in there, and when you think about it, the amount of value you can get in your life for spending a little bit more than double than you would on Netflix, you can learn a life skill that's really going to propel you in your future career. They have new projects that are released every month and they have a two week or 14 day free trial where you can test it out and learn how to code and start the process of coding. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video where I show you how you can learn to code. So what I would recommend doing is going to beta.hacksaw.academy and once you're there, sign up. Like I said, there's a two week free trial and after that it's $24.99 a month. It's absolutely nothing to learn such a valuable skill. Anyway, once you log in, let's go ahead and go through a project together. So this says we're going to build a simple landing page. So we're going to go ahead and just click start and then we're going to do the first part together which is HTML basics. So in this, I'm just going to hit start and we're going to go ahead and learn how to code. Now I know a bit of code already so there shouldn't be anything too difficult but as you can see here, this is HTML and this down here is your CSS. Anyway, I'm not going to explain all of this now, I'm going to let Hacksaw do that for you. So as it says up here, welcome to the Hacksaw Academy lesson interface. Lessons are split into short sprints. The first sprint is designed to familiarize you with the interface as well as some core web development concepts. Let's get started. So it looks like we're going to be starting out with writing code and code snippets. So from time to time in the sprint, we will include code snippets. These are helpful little code examples which you can use directly in the lesson interface. We'll go over HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in much more detail, but for now let's try using some code snippets to update the preview. Down here is an HTML snippet, so what we need to do is just copy this from here and put it over here. So let's go ahead and start span class and I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through some of this. So as you can see, what you do over here replicates what the code would do uh, down in this window right here and you can hit uh, rerun output if you want to refresh it. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next step where we'll be adding some style to our text. So to do this, we just type body and then we start the CSS. So there we go, we have the first bit of CSS implemented. Like I said, you can hit rerun to refresh it. Let's go to the next step where we're gonna make it interactive, which is probably one of my favorite parts. So we're gonna start with JavaScript or JS. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, fast forward through this. So it looks like I've messed up some code here, but luckily you have the ability to come over here and copy and paste the code to see if what you did works correctly now. now. As you can see, you get a window here that says, now you know how to use the lesson interface. So what I probably did was just mistyped a character somewhere, but that teaches you the lesson that you really need to be able to be paying attention to what you're doing when you're coding. One little thing like that can cause a huge bug and huge errors throughout all of your code, so make sure you're paying attention to everything that you're writing. Before we move on, let me explain what some of this means. So this is the HTML. This is the basis of pretty much any website that you go to. What we have here is called a span, which essentially just tells the HTML what this is. And right here is the class, which allows us to edit this in CSS. So before we had the CSS, let's say we just take all of this away. As you can see, everything, all of the styling goes away. So we'll just paste that back in and have that there. So what we would do is we would have this, which would be the ID of the class, and then we could put the dot because it's a class demo-text. Before we move on, I want to explain a little bit more about CSS. 
So as we can see, we have the body tag here. This is essentially our code telling the output what it's gonna look like. So example, this is the background, which gives it that bit of a greenish color. We want all of our text to be aligned in the center, anything within the body that is. And we also want the padding to be 40 pixels, which would be the 40 PX. Also, I do want to mention that what this is right here, where it's the uh, hashtag D2F0C6, uh, that is what we call in the coding world or even the design world a hex value. So as you can see down here, we have the uh, FFF, which is essentially just telling the code to make the text white. Then we have what type of styling we want the text to be, which would be bold, uh, as well as sans serif. Uh, we also want the cursor to be the pointer. Uh, padding to be 20 px and the background to be that color which is a little bit darker of a green for example we could come in here and change it to 33 cc ff it's going to look horrible but it's going to do what we just told it to do so anyway moving on to tags what we need to do here is type tag name content goes here and then tag name and as you can see what it did there is it actually auto ended the line of code that i was typing on uh, a lot of good and professional code editors such as coda uh, i believe sublime text 2 will do that uh, they'll go ahead and end the code by predicting what you're going to type. Uh, so all I had to do was start the uh, bracket here and then it went ahead and ended it for me. So as you can see it just simply says content goes here. Click on the next step and we're going to look at some headings. So headings are a really essential part of HTML and they also help a lot in SEO which we can talk about in another video. But essentially a heading 1 is going to be your biggest heading and they get smaller as it goes down to where essentially heading 6 is not much bigger than normal text. So we'll just go ahead and type quickly h1, it went ahead and ended the code for me. This is a very important message, or mess. There we go. So we can just rerun the output, it says the same thing. Uh, you can go ahead and walk through the rest of this, which would be this is an important heading, this is a fairly important heading, and as you can see, like I said, the smaller the number, the less important the uh, heading would be. So we'll go ahead and click on next step and see what we have here, which is paragraphs. Now to start a paragraph, all you need to do is open a bracket, hit P. This is a fairly short paragraph. And as you can see, it gives you a paragraph down here. But along with that, you can also open another paragraph tag, and then you can type an entire, well, paragraph. Now there is a difference I want to mention really quickly between paragraphs and line breaks. A line break essentially allows you to add another break in the paragraph anywhere throughout so you can type br slash and then it would end and as you can see it skipped it down to the next line. So moving right along we're going to talk about anchors which essentially allows you to jump to a particular point in your current page or to a completely different URL altogether. So let's go ahead and give a quick example which would be a href equals HTTP hacksaw.academy and then target blank which essentially just tells it to open it in a new tab I can't seem to type So as you can see, when you click down here, it opens your uh, link in a new tab. So that's essentially how to anchor a text, uh, how to make a link work in HTML. And the last thing we're going to talk about very quickly is nesting, which essentially just means that when you start a new line of code, what you would do is move down and tab in. So for example, in the heading, we have a paragraph, and in the paragraph, we have another paragraph, and in that paragraph, we have a link. So for every element that you would add, you would tab in one time. This explains it a lot better than I've just explained it, but here, let me show you what I mean. So we start off with a heading. This is a heading. We're going to go off what they're saying a little bit, uh, just to give you a different example. And then we would have our paragraph, which would allow us to uh, type here. As you can see, what it automatically did was tabbed in. I went ahead and tabbed in again by accident because it's just uh, a bit of habit. So then we could do here, this is a paragraph that we are typing for a tutorial. Then what we could do is add a quick line break, which would be br, end, and then it breaks down to another line, and we could type uh, b to bold the text, this is bold, and then we could also have i, which would italicize the text, and now italic and bold at the same time. 
So that's essentially what that is. So now let's say we want to start another paragraph within this and what we would do is nest it. So we could do another paragraph by opening up that tab and then here is an example of nesting. And then to follow along with their tutorial we can do ahrefs. And all I've done is essentially create a quick link to our YouTube channel. So when you click this, it goes to our YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this quick video on how to learn how to code. This video, like I said, was brought to you by Hacksaw. They're an insanely great place to learn how to code, and they're much better at explaining all of this than I am. I know pretty much the basics, and I've been able to build some sites in the past just from learning how over the years. However, it seems like this is going to be a great resource for me to check out and even expand my own skills. I love coding. I love being able to sit down and make something from pretty much nothing, just an open document. And I highly recommend at the very least you give it a try. Try it for 14 days. Like I said, they have a 14 day free trial. Over 7,000 students they have right now learning how to code. It is it's something that can take you extremely far in life. And I highly recommend giving it a shot and seeing what you can learn to do. So thanks for watching this video guys, I will see you next time and I hope you check out Hacksaw. Like I said, it's something that can add so much value to your life. I'll see you in the next video guys, thanks for watching.